All right, 10 flow tips and tricks. Number one, you can use shift plus click to change all of the volume and effects values in an SFX. Number two, for quicker scrolling, you can use command click on these arrows or control click for PCs to scroll through the SFX much quicker by, by four. You can do the same thing on speed, except hold down shift and right click, left click. This also works for music patterns uh, by holding the command and click. Number three, using command click, you can drag in pitch mode to snap all of the notes to a C minor pentatonic scale. Otherwise, everything snaps to the chromatic scale. Number four, you can transpose a group of notes by selecting them, holding shift, and press two to transpose them by step. Holding shift and clicking W will transpose them up by two steps. I transposes them up an octave and Z transposes them all down an octave. Tip number five, copy and paste groups of notes through an SFX. You can also copy and paste groups of SFX by holding down shift, copy, and then pasting. You can also do this with music patterns. Copy pattern zero, paste it to one, paste it to two, holding down shift and clicking, you select all these three patterns and then you can copy those and paste them. Number six, you can also copy and paste the columns. So if you have a sequence of instruments, you can copy and paste it in the other columns. This also applies to the volume column and the instrument column, or all three at the same time. Number seven, use the command or control plus the arrow keys to navigate quicker. Up and down will move you four rows up and down. Right and left will move you through the columns. This also works in pattern view. When you move right and left, it takes you through the different SFX and the different columns. This can be combined with shift to select large groups of notes. Tip number eight, in the SFX editor, use shift and space to play from the current group of eight. This is great for testing ideas that come later in an SFX. Tip number nine, you can export your music at the command line using export and a file name .wave. This will then appear with all your other carts. If you want to export music, then you have to make sure you're in music pattern, the music pattern editor, and at starting at the pattern that you want to record from. If your music is a loop, then it'll loop for about four and a half minutes. You can also export SFX, but in that case, just keep the viewer on the SFX editor. So this will export SFX zero. Tip number 10. Uh, in the new version of Pico 8, which is currently alpha.11, you can play back and edit at the same time. This is really handy for the new instrument editor. So I'm gonna put this on loop. And then this is instrument number one. So we're going to go to instrument number one. Bonus tip, uh, this is especially helpful when you're working with many SFX. You'll see I've got 0502 here and then 4745. Uh, so in the music pattern editor, if you click in this area, when you go back to the SFX editor, you'll be transported to that SFX. So if I click in this area and I go back to the SFX editor, I'll be transported to 
number five. And here's 45 again. Well, I hope these have been helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. GrubberMusic.com.